So here is the dilemma for the day. I just real, okay, let me, let me not start there. Let's start in here. I have the EB120, right? That is over here. It is, you guessed it, full. So what I decided is I'm gonna come in here and I'm gonna wash some clothes. I discovered that, man, my dryer is plugged into here as well. I forgot that I have a gas dryer, which means I can run my dryer off of solar as well. I am gonna attempt to get some uh, power readings on here, but I need to reset this because I was doing something else. All you can see is telling me voltage 109. All right, we got some amps going in, low seven watts. Nothing has, it's using 0.6 right now. So let's uh, start the show. Then we gonna go normal. That's no warm water. We do tap cold. Colors normal. Let's see here. I wonder if this is gonna be impacted because this is a mechanical device that needs to spin. Granted, it's a gradual spin, so it's not as much as like trying to get a dryer going, but this is what we're looking at now. 25 watts, 108 volts, 0.5 amps. It's not doing too much. Okay, there's a water. I hope that 110 volts doesn't have an adverse effect on devices like this. I can't imagine it would, but who knows? Sounds normal though. All right, I'm gonna let it do its thing. I'll keep an eye on it and I'll keep you posted. Here's the total output right now and input. Getting 161 in, 143 out. That's the fridge and the washer. So that's pretty good. Looks like the sun went down a bit because I'm not getting that 250 anymore or whatever I was getting from this 400 watt array that this is plugged into. Now that's strange. This one is still getting its full power, but this one is not. Um, let's crack open the garage door and see what's going on sunwise. Yeah, I don't know why there's a discrepancy here. And there should not be. I mean, this sun is banging. Habib Marwan style. Actually, let me try unplugging this. Oh, maybe it's just that it's full. And see, it's not charging anymore. So it's probably just not having enough load being pulled off of it to justify solar coming in. So that means I gotta put a load on it, you know what I mean? So right now I'm in a situation where I don't like the way this sounds. So I'm gonna unplug it and get it off of the power station. I think we need the 120 because it just seems like it's struggling with getting this, uh, this tub moving the way that it's supposed to be <laughs> moving. So let's make some changes. I have plugged it back into the wall. You can see the voltage coming off. <laughs> this is 123. You're already seeing 80, 90, it's running water, sensing. Let's see if I hear these little weird clicks. So now it's starting to really get going. 450, 247. This does seem like a bit of a improvement in the spin. It just feels like it's more vigorous, um, but I'm still hearing a little clicking. So that probably was always always there. I'm seeing 350, 576, 180. Let's look at some amps here. Seven, two. In my opinion, this would need the amount of power that's coming from a 120, not 110. So I probably can't wash from the uh, EB120, but I, I'll probably be able to dry from it. Washing is done. It took a total of 140 watt hours. Pretty cool. Could wash clothes for less than 200 watt hours. <laughs> nice. All right, now here's trying to start the dryer on the EB120. <laughs> oh, <laughs> no dice. PF power failure. So I'm gonna have to plug this into another power station. Let's go ahead and do that. Now it's plugged into the Alcatel Ace volt. You can see that's 110 volts. It may start up a little slow. That's why I'm recording for y'all. Dang, that didn't start up either. Let's try it again. Well, I actually hear the, I hear that Alcatel beeping. Maybe it was the AC200P that could take that power. Cause this show didn't, which is very disturbing. 
Why wouldn't these devices be able to power on just a dryer? The next one I'm gonna have to try is the Duran Duran. Just when I got excited about being able to dry clothes off solar, it might not be a reality for these power stations that are left down here because my AC200P is upstairs now. All right, let's see. Yeah, it can't do it. None of these can do it. <laughs> boom, 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 wow. Let's plug into the wall and see how much power usage it is. Curious minds want to know, right? Look at what the high went up to. That's interesting. It used 225 watt hours, so that ain't bad at all. Could wash for 200, drive for 225. Not bad. That's with gas though, you know what I mean? You can't do that with electricity. Not, not even close. <laughs>